Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign, or at least a new video, in Hearts of Iron 4, using a special mod called Disaster, Death of Peace. And which right now we're playing as a certain Yosub Yugoshvili. He's a warmonger, that's all you need to know, but we're doing the Georgian Dream. We've always dreamt of retaking our motherland from the eternal German colonizers. Now it's time! Very cool, very cool. So up next, Guns from Russia, Anti-Dagestani Politics. Let's do this one, Guns from Russia. Russian bandits are on the Caucasia has good stockpiles of guns, and they can do us a great favor. And we have the Mountain Republic here, of course. Um, led by Tapa, some dude, the Kievan War. Cool. Any focus you down here? Georgia actually exists right here. Cool. And then Azerbaijan also exists. Mehmed. Cool. Alright, after guns, we'll probably do the anti dagestani politics. The Muslims in the east hold Abkhazia. And in the war, we're going to wage against them. We will not show the mercy to the Meccan scum. Oh, that's over here. Oh, that's us. This is us here. And they're south of Russia, so... Um, yeah. United Republics of North Caucasus. I guess we'll see what happens. Do they have some manpower? Division-wise, they have two to four. It's similar to us. We have five, but our guys are actually very, very, like, weakened. Which really does suck. We have no manpower, so... Yeah. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Soldiers of the Revolution. Oh, 50,000 50, more manpower. Look at that. Um, Generalissimo. Ooh, look at that. I like that. But let's go ahead and grab this one first. Soldiers of the Revolution. There are many young and old Georgian comrades that want to join our ranks, and we welcome them with open arms. So we get 50,000 manpower and create Kartvelebi unit times two times three. And, alright, Mao declares revolution. Well, what else is new? Followed up with. Uh, let's see. Ah, oh, let's do this one first because we get more stability. Generalissimo. Yugashvili. Yugoshvili is our supreme chairman, and he will be granted generalissimo status because of his importance for the Georgian people. And of course, his ability to lead. We get more recovery rate, stability, war support, and defensive war penalty stability modifier. Plus 40%. Wow. That is quite a bit. And we're going to get 1.23 political power every single day. Food contacts. Oh, that's not bad. Um, Orthodox death squads. I think I'll do this one first, just to get more stability. Getting more stability and maxing it out first is probably usually a pretty good idea. We only have two research slots, unfortunately, but it is what it is. Food context. In this mountain, we really need food and other supplies, such as sweet vodka or some meat to survive and live. Yuga Shavili's contacts in Georgia can provide us very well. And also, what else do we have here? Anything here interesting? Interesting, interesting. War economy, sure, why not? War, well, why not? Just because we can't build anything here, so... The Levantine War, all right. Yeah, it's already maxed out. Unfortunate, unfortunate. Georgian Liberation Organization. We're going to establish a glow with a context in the motherland to rally the people against German rule. Azerbaijan submits. So the Mountain Republic and the Georgian Military District both get way less population, recovery, and stability. Wow, that is a little strong. Maybe a little bit too strong, some might say, but not here. I think up next we probably want to do some military doctrine. Line doctrine, yeah. Plan economy. We have one-party state. We love one-party states. Let's go grab some of this, too. Um, I guess we'll do that one. Oh, we have a natural spirit here. Good against these guys, too, which is very nice. Orthodox death squads. As of our faith, we must secure the protection of orthodox entities. And we're going to create death squads of Christ and send them to the heathen lands. So they lose 4,000 manpower, 20% stability. We get 10% stability and more defense on core territory. We're we're rack, wrecking these guys right now. Like they got a lot of manpower, but like, why not? Sure, why not? Uh, do industry stuff, cool. And then war for Abkhazia. The day has come. We will launch a full-blown attack on the Muslims, the Mountain Republic. Which is right here. Cool. I guess we'll see what happens. I hope we do well. I guess our guys are maxed out now, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, and they're only ten combat. Okay. Uh, do we have any spare? We have forty-five hundred guns. All we have are one single factory working on rifles. So, and all we got is this guy doing this stuff over here too. So. All right, and yes, orthodoxy, very good. Followed up with what? Looting the Muslims. Arm young students. All right, well, as you can tell, it's not going to be a very long video, but it's still going to be a video regardless. Um, if that's the case, just go superior firepower because we can. Maybe we'll get some more land auction later. We'll see, I don't know. But as long as we can... Hello. Hello, Russia. Pietro Wrangle? Hello. Nice, and we're about to go to war. So close. 
All right, the mountain revolution in the mountains of Caucasia. A guerrilla group named by Sakar Velo Redemption started their attack against the Mountain Republic on their way to liberate Georgia from the crowd hands, where their charismatic leader, Yosef Jugoslavi. They will surely succeed. Totally. Uh, just go, guys. Just literally go right there. You'll, you'll be fine. You'll literally be fine doing that. There you go. Because they will not have enough strength. Um, as long as we win here, that's all that really matters. Uh, you know what? How about you guys hold then? Hold. Let them starve. Take whatever we can from them. Uh, we'll see what happens. Maybe it'll go great. Maybe it won't. But that's why we're here. Uh, you have two. You go down here to here. Let's see what you can do about that. Just don't get encircled, please. Alright. Well, they want to leave. No. Keep it up like that and we'll do okay. And they move in just a little bit. That's not really a concern. You should easily be able to win, especially if they can't get any more organizations. Oh, hello. Hello. No, god dang it. Keep these guys in place. I need you guys to move down here. There you go. And with them trying to attack us here, that'll be good. You guys will too. Because they can't get any more organization. You are declared uh, to Cairo. All right. Uh, nothing really else we can do about this here. If you want to, force the attack. Force it. This way, they they will have to lose. They, as long as they have no organization, they'll die. It's a little painful, but whatever. And we got them. Nice. Then they immediately attack us. Okay. We lost 2,000 versus 5,000. That's not too bad. It's going to be so bad to attack. It'll be so bad. Will you not be able to win? That sucks. How many divisions they've left? One to three. Screw it. Let them in. Let's let them in. It's fine. Um, one, two, three. Do this. There you go. Spare yourselves out. Let them come on in, maybe? No? Okay. Well, how about we let them in a little bit more, then? There you go. That's what we want to see. Well, I know there's music in the background, but if I cover it up, it might not get me copyrighted, maybe? Cool, that's all I gotta do. And there we will go. Nice. There you go. There you go. They're already lacking stuff, so... As long as you drop their equipment, that will be great. And we're also led by Yosef here, too. Hey, look at that. Go ahead. Everyone go right on ahead. You guys cut these guys off. That'll be great. You guys go there, there, and there. Yes, yes. Just cut them off and do a good job doing it. There you go. Nice. And you know what? You're going to force the attack because you're not going to let up. Because that organization has to drop under so much. Just so much. Jim Smith has got to die. I know we're talking over river. It's really bad, but they can't recover. Then they can't do anything, really. So, yay. Yeah, I guess we could have just kept them there, but whatever. Yay, we got them. So, looting the Muslims. The Muslims do not own a lot of valuable goods, but they have some guns and venison we can use. Good idea. Uh, limited conscription, maybe? Perhaps? Maybe? We'll see. Alright, not bad. Uh, hopefully we get to take these guys out too. That'd be really nice. Ooh, two more divisions. Nice. Looting the Muslims. Good, 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 good. Happy 1937, everyone. We could get some research, more research speed, but right now we're okay. Arm the young students. We will send supplies and information to young students in Georgia so they can join our war when, when, uh, when it comes. 12 is okay. I prefer... 10 is okay. I prefer 12. Obviously, I prefer 20, but whatever. And then, War for the National Liberation. The second effort is here. And we'll drive Krasenstein and his army Mongol Germans from a sweet Georgia. Cool. How many divisions they got? Uh, 35,000 map. Oh, they have a lot of divisions, actually. Hmm. I mean, I don't know how strong these guys are actually are, so... Are we supposed to get more divisions or something like that? I'm gonna pull it early. There you go. Let's cover the line first. Wait, so now you guys came out? Come on, man. Hang out for now. See what we can do. Uh, since we're down here anyways, we definitely need more manpower, obviously. But, civilian oversight's fine. Yeah, there's not really much else we can do about that. Mm. Oh, hello. Yeah, let them attack us. Let them attack us. They're attacking with four divisions. Fine with us. Fine with us. 
Can we actually push into here, maybe? Yes? Yes, so, maybe so? Yes? A lot of mountains. Kind of sucks. That's alright. Oh, we can actually see what they got, though, now. Nice. Keep attacking us. That's fine with us. We love it. Got some manpower back. We have enough guns, too, which is pretty nice. Um, yeah, I'll just let them keep attacking us. I like the flag, though. It's a nice flag. They're out of manpower, which is good. Hope they keep it up. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, my goodness. Sneezy. Sneezy, sneezy. I wonder if we could attack here. I kind of doubt that we could, but I guess it's worth a try, right? It's worth a try. What is on these divisions? Just infantry? No, they're actually really quite good. Recon artillery engineers? That's not bad, actually. That's pretty good. We're still mobilizing more, which is nice. Actually, screw it. We don't even need this division. Save the gun, save the manpower for now. Why do they keep attacking so harshly? I don't understand it. Do they have a national spirit that forces them to attack? No. No manpower. Probably no guns now. Okay, well. Ah, uh, don't ask me. I have no idea. You guys probably will not be able to win. 2v1. Yeah. Kind of sucks. Here, hold. Um, but we can do this instead. 1-1-1. One, one, one. Supported by two more divisions. Should help us win this one, right? Slowly, but... My goodness. Like, I love it that they're attacking like crazy, but still. But still. There you go. Nice. Ah, uh, since we're here anyways, help attack. If we... Can't capitulate them here. At the very least, we can still cut these divisions off. You gotta force it. You gotta go. A lot of people don't recommend doing that, but like sometimes it's absolutely necessary. Give them some time. I want them to get really disorganized first. Oh, good. Thank you. There you go. There you go. Well, it's almost time to move in. These guys are still... Ah, we won! It's always good to win, right? It's always good to win. As you can tell, it's not going to be a very long video, but that's alright. It doesn't have to be a long video. Well, the casualties are 7,000 versus 32,000, so I'm feeling pretty good about this one. It's unfortunate no one has any other upgrades, but maybe in time. 42% becoming a mountaineer, 46% for uh, an infantry leader, organizer, stuff like that. Not bad. Go in. Yeah, the horse is really damaged. Come on, and then I want to attack here too. Actually, you might just do this right now too. There you go. There you go. Open up that combo with a little bit more. Oh, that's so nice. I do want to do a general attack, but that'd be a waste of resources and men. So let's not do that yet. They're so weak. I love it. They're attacking us. I'm attacking back. Look at those horses. Almost literally died there. Almost literally. Nice. Brew machine tools. Great. It probably won't be... Oh, let's get this one first, actually. Keep them busy here. This way we should be able to win here. Are they doing... They might be doing force defense. Maybe not. Oh, they're dropping. Nice. There you go. Very good, very good, very good. That's why we're keeping them in place. Don't let them move. Do not let them move. There we go. Everyone else hold. Hold, hold, baby boys and girls. I said... Hold. And we're out of manpower again. But, you know what? That's okay. Extensive a conscription. That should be okay, right? Why are they so attacking? I don't understand. Why are you... Okay, you just want to attack. Okay, go ahead and die then. There you go. Let's see, what, 15,000 lost, 12,000 versus 59,000? Pretty good. 59, yeah, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Don't let them move. Oh, they're, oh, I think they were doing force defense earlier. And they have all died. Oh, we didn't see the casualties. I'm going to assume 70,000. Awesome. Then that might literally be it for us. Uh, the caucus brigade. Oh, do something here. Oh, there we go. Unite Georgia. Moves capital to Georgia. We know as a Georgian worker state. Yay, Tbilisi's our capital. Oh, did we core everything here? Oh, I hope we did. Oh, we didn't core this. Grozny. Oh, that sucks. But I think that's going to be it. We have a really nice flag. But yeah, this has just been a very, very short teaser for what will come 
in uh, Disaster Death of Peace mod for, for, you know, for Hearts of Iron 4. So, if you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. Let me know your thoughts on this very, very short campaign and video regarding Mr. Uh, Grigory Maznashvili. He's got a lot of names. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.